Hey guys, I'm here, also known as 8 Final Low, bringing you all another video. It's Saturday, it's record store day, drop number two day. Um, I'm sure this video right here, looking forward to seeing what I picked up for record store day number two, or at least I assume you are considering you clicked on this video. Uh, but as you can tell from the title of this video, things didn't work out. Um, and I'll kind of explain why I don't want to drag this video on. I wasn't even sure if I was going to make a video, uh, but I want to at least get something up because I do, I did pick up vinyl. It just wasn't really any record store day release. So, uh, here's the deal. So, got up this morning, super excited. I had my want list. I had two albums that I really, really wanted. First one was The Yardbirds, Roger the Engineer, Serial Mono. Second one was Parish Hall two major, major wants, not only for this drop, but just record store day this year in general. Okay. So, um, got in line, woke up. I couldn't sleep last night. I get so excited about record store day. Got in line. No Yardbirds, no Parish Hall. And I'm not saying, you know, they had limited quantities or whatever. I have three stores near me, three record store stores within a 20 minute radius. No Yardbirds, no Parish Hall. Um, I talked to, you know, the owners and it was the same thing over and over again. And I've been hearing this not only in my general area, in my stores, in my state, I'm hearing that record store days all over uh, kind of got gypped this, this drop. They just didn't get as many releases or as many copies or whatever it is of, uh, of Record Store Day drop number two releases. So kind of interesting. Uh, <laughs> um, it, you know, it's disappointing. I was excited. Uh, and like I said, the Yardbirds especially, that was like my number one when the list first came out in April or right before April for the April drop before the whole pandemic kind of hit. That was at the top of my want list. So it is what it is. I did end up going down to my maybes list and I did pick up at least one record store day release that was on my maybes list. And I did grab the Ramones. It's alive too. Limited to 8,000 copies, I think. I have number uh, 2,616. I like with the limited releases when they do add the numbers on, that, on the back. Some releases do, some releases don't, and I appreciate them uh, when they do. I just think it's a fun little addition to to an exclusive album. So, love the Ramones. Shown them plenty of times on my channel. This was on my maybe list, depending on how much money I spent. I had a few other things on my maybe list that stores didn't get either. So, I don't know if it's my taste. I mean, there's a million copies of uh, The Wall. There's a million copies of, of Soft Parade Strip. There's a million copies of those, which I know are extremely popular releases. A million copies of McCartney. But the releases I want, nothing. So, here's what it is. But I did get this. They had a few copies of this. So, very happy with this. Since the day's still early, since it's only been, you know, the morning time, I am going to try to go online later today, throughout the week, and see if I can pick up the Yardbirds for a good price. As of now, the prices are not looking good whatsoever. So, it is what it is. Um, but I'm going to keep my eye out for it, and we'll see if I can grab the Yardbirds and Parish Hall at another date. So, record store day as a whole for me personally, and for a lot of record stores uh, apparently, um, kind of a bust. I'll be completely honest, kind of a bust. However, even though record store day was a bust, the day in terms of record collecting and record digging was not a bust, and I'll tell you why. So, three stores near me, two stores participate in record store day, one store does not. The store that doesn't participate in Record Store Day is actually my favorite store of the three. Um, what they were doing today is they put out, you know, they like to put out a lot of like really good used titles that they normally don't have. So that was kind of what this store was doing. A lot of amazing used titles and the prices are always awesome there. So that's why I love that store. So here I am feeling a little down. I got my Ramones, but didn't get anything else. Record store day was kind of kind of a bust. 
and I'm feeling down, so I'm, I'm, you know, have money, I have money ready. So <laughs> instead of, you know, putting it away and saving up for next time, I have to spend. I, I want my records, okay? You guys know how that is. So go to the store, go to the Burt Janch section, completely wiped it out. You guys know how I feel about Burt Janch. I'm absolutely in love with his material. I've been getting so into him lately. I am eventually planning on being a completist with his work. That's the plan. Absolutely adore Burt Janch. Uh, and actually, I did end up getting that Live in Italy Records for a Day release last drop that did come in the mail. I know that I mentioned that I ordered that. That is in. And uh, I'm going to show that in my September record haul video, which is going to be at the end of the month. So probably uh, sometime next week or beginning, beginning of October. So keep an eye out on that because I have a lot of cool records to show you that I've picked up over the past kind of month, month and a half. Um, but anyway, went to this store, wiped out the Burt Jam section because I needed these three releases. So I just grabbed everything that they had. And I absolutely love Earth Recordings. They do an amazing job with reissuing Bert Janch material. Actually, if you like Bert Janch and you know all that, um, Earth Recordings is issuing finally Crimson Moon, his release from 2000 on vinyl. I think it was supposed to be released this week. I think it got pushed back. I have a pre order on it. So when that comes in, I'll show you. But anyway, wiped out the Bert Janch selection. So finally, this album, an absolute stone cone classic, uh, needed this one. So yeah, so I wiped out I wiped out every single Burt Janch that they had there. Also, was able to cross off two albums that are just high on my general want list. Super, super excited about these, okay? The first one is Naz. Amazing garage rock. There's actually a Cheap Trick connection with Naz, Todd Rundgren, Naz. Um, Rick Nielsen, I think I've shared this before, Rick Nielsen, Stooky and Tom Mooney at one point actually formed their own version of Naz. So, and I've shared that before. I'm going to, I'll probably share it again, but there's your kind of cheap trick connection there. But I didn't just get this because of the cheap trick connection. This is actually just a really good album. And this is one of the cleanest copies I've seen in person. The vinyl's pristine. Um, so when I saw this, I grabbed it right away. Like I said, the used selection at this store, I mean, amazing. Very, very clean. Also, another major, major album I was able to cross off my want list. I've talked about this band before. This is Shoes. Black Vinyl Shoes is my favorite release uh, that this band put out. This band is from Zion, Illinois, which is actually extremely close to, to where I grew up, where my hometown is. And classic Midwest power pop sound, definitely influenced by Cheap Trick. This album, I think, came out in 78. Yeah, so this came out in 78. Cheap Trick, you know, their debut came out in 77. So within that same time period, two amazing power pop acts from, uh, from Illinois. So this was at the top of my want list just in general, so it was really nice to finally see this out in the wild. Super excited this kind of made my day. So, overall, um, right, not record store day in itself was, eh, it, it is what it is. But the day, I had, a, I had a really good time digging and I was able to cross things off my want list. So, that's good. I'm going to keep an eye out for the Yardbirds and Parish Hall, see if I can find a copy, um, you know, for the price that it was sold for. I don't want to pay a million dollars for them. Um, October, the October list, Cheap Trick. Finally, that, that release is coming out, so I'm excited about that. I'm excited about October in general. I hope that the stores aren't getting gypped uh, next month because that'd be really disappointing. This month was kind of disappointing. Last month was great, uh, but this month was in. So that's all for this video, guys. If you got a release that you really wanted, share with me down in the comments below. If your store didn't get a release that you want, also share that down below too because I want to see see what other stores weren't getting uh weren't getting really what they ordered so that's all for this video guys stay safe be well and i will see you all for my next video bye guys